This is Roger Strukoff with Syscon TV at Cloud Expo East in New York in the year 2015. And we are joined by Brahm Gupta with RoboMQ. And that's RoboMQ.io. I love those IO uh, addresses. I, I think they're, they're really cool. But what's probably cooler is what you're doing. So let's tell everyone who's watching, uh, you know, why you're here at Cloud Expo, what you're doing in the cloud, and, you know, what sort of things are customers asking of you. Okay. So RoboMQ.io connects any device, system, application, or cloud together. Yeah. And we have built connectors, and we have built uh, support for all the protocol. So virtually, we can connect any device using any set of protocol from MQ to REST to web services, SOAP services. And then we have built connectors to major enterprise systems like Salesforce, ADP, Mm. databases and we can enable you to build your heterogeneous ecosystem by taking all kind of devices IOT devices SaaS application and enterprise application and we see two distinct trend in the industry one is definitely IOT which is very hot everybody want to use these things or devices to manage their infrastructure reduce cost or create new revenue stream at the same time we are seeing one distinct trend coming from SaaS now with the SaaS coming in you can get very specialized applications which do one thing very very well at a much lower cost and you get the advantage from the usage of these SaaS application that they are best of the breed because there's a huge base of users but then with the SaaS there comes a challenge which is that these specialized applications are going to be a lot more because they are very specialized and they create data silos because a specific data will reside in a specific SaaS application so there's an opportunity to connect these SaaS applications together unlock the data and create value by the networking effect of the data. So RoboMQ has been around how long? So we built this product last year. Yeah. We launched it in the beginning of the year at IT Expo in Miami, and we have made a lot of progress. We have some 40 trial customer. We have Top Golf as one of our customers, which is using not only the platform to integrate their RFID-based game system to point of sales, they are also using our platform to automate employee onboarding so when a new employee comes in his identity being created in AD to his different provisioning into different system where you have access so you no longer have to open tens of tickets and administrators trying to create your identity in different systems before you get onboarded a couple of hours before the system takes care of everything you walk in in your office and you have access to everything so they are using it us not only for the RFID based gaming system but also for their enterprise and SaaS system integration. IoT is a big thing. Um, are we talking about um, M2M stuff? Are we talking about industrial internet stuff? Are there government projects? What sort of you know, projects to you? So we are looking at uh, oil and gas and management of remote assets as one of our primary market. Another market is industrial internet. And for the industrial internet, we have built adapters to SCADA networks. We have Modbus adapter. You can unlock the data from the SCADA networks into your enterprise systems, and thereby you can have your SCADA networks work very, very well with the current state of technology, which is with the SaaS application and the newer generation of enterprise resource planning and CRM and operation control system. So that's in industrial internet. Then we are also in the facilities management where you can manage the warehouses, large buildings, and we have all kind of customers. We have customers who are using our product for automating running and testing of the gensets, remote gensets, and so on. Warehouse management, we have customers. We have customers which are managing the environmental conditions and their water pumps and motors in a resort in Caribbean. We have winery customers which are evaluating our product to measure the humidity and the temperature of the vineyards because that's critical for the wine production. So, I mean, the, the places that you're going, it's only going to grow like a million percent in the next few years. It seems like we're just at the very beginning of, of the potential. It is true. I mean, IoT is going to grow, and along with IoT, SaaS is also going to grow because what we see is going to be a word where you have specialized applications. You know, you come experts in particular domain building a specialized SaaS application. So there's a huge market there. There's a, IoT is just starting. I mean, it's going to grow like crazy. Till 2020, it's going to grow like crazy. So there's a huge potential of this application enablement technologies which can 
which can future proof it right so you take a device today you take a system today four years later you will definitely have better system better devices right. but you don't want to rip everything apart you want to have the old technology coexist with the newer technology and be very adaptive run at a pace run like a cheetah so that you can really really get the value from the market as the technology evolves what we're going to have to do is talk to each show. We're going to keep having shows on Internet of Things, keep talking to you because the progress is going to be amazing, I think. We've been sitting here for a few minutes with Bram Gupta from RoboMQ.io into the Internet of Things connectivity, and this is some fascinating stuff. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. For Syscon TV, this is Roger Struckoff.